Hey, this is Fred from North 40 Fly Shop. Tying today a rainbow trout version of our popular flash and grab streamer. Big fish eat smaller fish. It's not always about matching the hatch. It's a trout eat trout world out there. So the rainbow trout version definitely can uh, pull some interest from those predator fish. So we're going to tie one up. So starting out with a right angle jig hook. Um, this is a 90 degree hook from NU. And this one's a number two size. Um, a Daiichi and a number four works equally well. And I've got some fluorescent green thread here. I'll lay that down for the base. And our first layer of material is going to be a tail of silver flashaboo. And I like to take my thread all the way back up to the front and I'm going to clip off my flashaboo just a sparse little clump, half the volume that I want for the tail. Then I'm going to fold this right around my thread and then carry that all the way back down to the rear tie-in. And then my length actually comes out just about perfect. I want that to be just a little bit longer, almost twice as long as the length of that hook shank. Next, we're going to add our Nickel Pearl Spirit River Real Eyes. This is a 532nd sized eye. So I'm going to take my thread back up. I'm going to give those eyes a little more than a quarter inch of space behind the bend of the hook there. I like to get about half a dozen wraps in each direction. Then I'm going to spin another half dozen or so wraps around the middle and then really figure eight cross wrap with some thread pressure to lock those guys in. And once I've got those locked in, I'm just going to make sure they're oriented perfectly. You want your fly to run true, not tip over sideways. All right, next layer of material is polar chenille, and this is clear. I'm going to start my tie-in on this right behind the eyes. Carry it right to the back. And then I'm going to go ahead and palmer this forward. And I'm just going to leave my thread right there. And it's just going to get carried up as I go. This makes it real easy to keep those wraps tightly aligned. You can also uh, use your rotary feature and spin this up quickly. Tie this off right behind the eyes. So we got her tail and our body, and then we're going to spin a collar of rabbit fur. And what I've got here is some salmon pink color. You can use a regular pink, but the salmon pink is just a little paler, and I really like the way it looks. I've got about an inch long cut of hide there. I'm going to make a dubbing loop. If it's real staticky, which it often is in here, just give it a little lick if you need to. And then we're just going to insert this in our loop. And then I'm just going to trim that hide away from the rabbit. And then we'll spin her up. Tease that out just a little bit. 
and then we're going to wrap this in right behind the eyes besides providing a little color down the middle of the fly what this collar is going to do is it's going to create a little lift for our wing that's what really makes this fly That tied off. All right, we're gonna put another uh, little layer of the silver flashaboo on here for the throat. And again, you want to keep this fairly sparse. And I'm gonna bring my thread up almost to the front tie-in point there, and I'm gonna fold that around again and then I'm going to take my thread and cover it right up until I hit the eyes and then come over the top and secure it right behind. And then I'm going to trim this about an inch long. So we're done on that side. Now we're going to flip this over and put our remaining uh, middle and over wings. For my next wing I'm going to go with rainbow colored flashaboo fold that over my thread my tie-in point here is just a little bit in front of where my last tie-in point was and then I'm going to measure this out and I want to cut it approximately a quarter inch shorter than my tail. And after I do that, I'm going to come in over the top and just kind of pull it and kind of make sure it's veiled around that tie-in point as much as possible. And then I'll put a little thread pressure in there and really lock it in. Then I'm going to bring my thread a little bit forward and come in just behind where I tied that in and add my final layer of flashaboo and this is lime green same step let's grab a pinch fold that over the thread get it square on top and we're going to cut this one just a little bit shorter than the last one by a quarter inch or so. And then make sure it's properly spread before I put a little more thread pressure on there and really lock it in. And then I just go ahead and finger whip finish it. By building up those uh, sequential tie-in points I've basically created the head there and it doesn't have to be perfect I like to finish this off with a little loon UV and that will uh, clean that all up and give you a perfectly finished fly rainbow flash and grab thanks for watching if you need the materials to tie your flash and grabs check us out at North 40 fly shop and shop us at north40flyshop.com